Japanese citizens go to the doctor on average of 15 times a year. Insurance covers everyone for everything. After a fractional co-payment, the visits are basically free. Even for the elderly, long-term care in nursing homes, even home care is covered. The Japanese have a life expectancy of nearly 83 years, compared to 78 in the United States. Gerald Anderson of Johns Hopkins was in Japan to study the health care system earlier this year. When they go to the doctor, it's a, it's a free service. Um, they might pay a few yen, a few, a few dollars for the care, but pretty much it's a free service. They can go to any doctor, they can go to any specialist that they choose. There is no gatekeeper, there's no one telling them that they have to go to this doctor. There are about 5,000 insurance plans in Japan, all with practically identical coverage. About one-third of the population pay for health care through salary contributions, 4.5%, matched by the employer for a total of 9% of salary going to health insurance. People who are self-employed or with smaller companies also contribute through earnings. Coverage for public officials is identical. The government picks up the tab for people who do not work and those over the age of 70. Japan spends 8.1 percent of GDP on health care compared to 16 percent of GDP in the United States. Total annual spending $2,581 per capita compared to $7,290 in the United States. There is a single reason why Japan can pay for such extensive benefits, according to Mei Chen of Princeton, who specializes in Asian health care systems. The government sets the fees. Uh, and then uh, there's only one fee schedule for the whole country, so everyone, all the providers, doctors and hospitals, live within that set of fees. And this is, in fact, the perhaps most powerful cost containment tool for the health system in Japan. 22 percent of the population is over the age of 65. The birth rate is negative. In that respect, Japan is expected to struggle to provide generous coverage with fewer people in their working years. Kitty Pilgrim, CNN.